we get my final guest out this evening, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Well done with you. Now, I usually ask guests to get out as fast as possible, but on this occasion, for God's sake, take it steady, will you? Please, will you welcome, and I'm delighted he's here, probably as much as you are, it's Mr Richard Hammond. Fantastic. Isn't it, isn't it uh, just a huge relief to see Richard Hammond here, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I'm delighted you're here, and you do seem to be well. Is, is everything OK? Is it all kind of the, the worst of it's all over? Who said that? No, I'm absolutely fixed. Yeah, I am, really. I'm, I'm, I'm mended. I'm very, very lucky. But you know indeed. what's so ridiculous, Richard, is there doesn't appear to be a scratch on you, and you had this, this awful accident. Mark. Are, Not are there Mark. scars anywhere? No, that's quite a sore point, actually. Because there is nothing. Honestly, the repeat... No, I know it sounds a bit sick, but it would have been nice. I was in a coma for quite a long time. My wife could have just, you know, run a Stanley down there. And, <laughs> and a little dueling scar would have been really Made you look nothing. a little less pretty, a little more manly. Exactly. Yeah, I've yeah. got a... I had a slight scab on my shin. And that's all you got? No, but, OK, so... It was nasty. It was just, just about there. But not bad. So that was it, because all the damage was to my brain. You would have... Oh, yeah, exactly. So, so nothing to worry about there, then. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> Um, what, no, OK, let's talk through this, because I, I know I've read about it, but I just want to hear uh, from you what was going on, what happened. This was for Top Gear, of course. Yes. OK, and you were racing a very fast rocket car, is that right? Uh, you or make driving? it sound so sensible, don't you? Um, <laughs> no, I wasn't racing. The idea was to have a go in, okay. in this, this jet car. Probably, okay. It was propelled by a jet engine. Okay. So, essentially, you strap yourself to the front of a jet engine and then go, whoa! Is the <laughs> idea. And, and I didn't, as it turned out. I swore. And then it went dark. And, and was it because, was it bad driving? Is that what happened? You were driving along and what? Or what, did maybe a pigeon go in front of you or something? What actually happened? <laughs> what, 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 how did you crash it? very nice about it. Was it bad driving, possibly? <laughs> well, I don't know what it was. Um, it, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, they're investigating to try and find out exactly what made well, so it So we happen, can't really go on that, I guess. Look, there's a shot. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, I don't know if you want to see this. There's a shot of the car. Yeah, that's my parking. <laughs> not, 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 good. <laughs> not brilliant. Um, OK, and, and can you remember much of the actual accident and the events that took place on that day itself? I can talk you through it. I was driving, and then it was two weeks later, and <laughs> I was in Leeds. That's it? Now, well, there's, there's bits and pieces rattling around in there, but, but I mean, it, it, it was a bit brisk. It was all over quite quickly. And does it, uh, of course, but did you, were you aware that it was going wrong? Did you know you were going to crash, or was it that fast? There was a sense of, oh, bugger. But uh, then <laughs> the problem is... Uh, hold it, hold like it. That. I'm sure it was slightly stronger than, possibly, oh, bugger. But, <laughs> possibly. But um, apparently I did, I was awake on the way to the helicopter yeah, when that's that took what I me was away. told, they, you were awake in the car, but you don't remember that? I got a bit fighty. I'm surprised they didn't just leave me there, frankly. So you were saying, get off me, get off yeah, me? Yeah, and then I wanted to, to talk about the car. <laughs> not very useful, really, at that point. <laughs> so but you I thought was, you were doing a piece to camera still for the I show? I wanted to do a piece to camera, yeah. Not, not good. My eyes were pointed in different directions <laughs> and my head <laughs> started to expand. And, so um, so they, would, they would have thought it was Jeremy Clarkson? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> just standing further away. <laughs> um, I have no recollection of that at all. Yeah, I can't remember. It. That's remarkable. I can't remember the, the first few weeks. And, and it does, is it, does it sort of come back to you gradually, or, or do you think those memories are gone? Uh, I th after the crash, this got to stop me when I get boring, because I've done nothing else for the past few weeks. Well, months, of course. So I'll well, well, no, but I'm dying to hear about it. I do want to hear about it. Well, it, uh, the, I had post traumatic amnesia. Right. Which basically means I had a sort of five second memory. So the, the guys would come round. It just meant whilst I was in hospital, I was completely useless. So they'd come round with a menu of, of what was up for lunch, and they'd show me, oh, look, cottage pie. That's my favourite. I'll have that, please. Five minutes later, it would arrive, cottage pie. Ah, my favourite. How did you know? And then, <laughs> then I'd order it again for tea. They'd come round and do the same. We'd get five days on the trot. And I'd cottage pie until my wife eventually said, could you just tell him it's off? <laughs> it's like that film Memento. Have you seen that film Memento, where the guy... Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I did the one, the most, uh, having, it's, I'm very lucky because that all went away because all the damage to my brain was in the bit of your brain that doesn't control what, the way you So your motor anything. skills and that, that kind of stayed, stuff? That all stayed, yeah. It's, it's actually just the way you think. And Which, have your memories, the memories that you had before the crash, do you still have those? Can you still access them? Yeah, yeah, that was all there. But there was, there was a point at, at which I couldn't daydream and that was just... Bloody weird. Frankly. And what does that mean, Dave? Well, I, because I suppose it's something we do without realising. But Yes, it is, completely. And I sat down on a bench, whilst I was recovering, I sat down on a bench, and there was a beautiful view and some trees, and it was very nice. And I thought, oh, I've got to have a little daydream. Marvellous. I can't. <laughs> Nothing happened. Because what I, I, 
you know your brain's mushy old thing. Yeah. Please, the, the surgeons who fix me are going to be thinking, what is he talking about? <laughs> That's all I can remember. Um, that uh, I, I would look at something like a tree, and normally all your thoughts connected with trees arrive in one lump. Yeah. And so it might be, you might remember carving a girl's name in them, falling out of one, running into one, and you don't necessarily think about them, but they're there. They're there, yeah. They're Nothing. Just that so must if have I was been terrifying. If I was a poet, I would have been really bollocks. But it must have been scary even yeah, so, it was, even it though you're was, not a poet. Yeah, it was very, very frightening. Just Did you think you were a poet at the time? Is that what scared you about it? <laughs> that's very what unnerved me. I'm Wordsworth. Why notebook? can't I think of something? I thought I was a famous poet. No, it was, it was really, it was very But you didn't strange. have delusions of any sort. You weren't, you didn't actually feel like you were someone else or you didn't, I mean, you kind of knew you were you, did you? How do you know? They tell you to look at this. This is, again, I'm very lucky because I've got through all of this. And there are people who had far less severe accidents on the surface of it who are still grappling with yeah. these things. But in my case, I can look back and, and you're warned about things like personality change. Look out for that. How? Yeah. How do I know? So uh, do you think your wife has in any way tried to capitalise on this? For example, since you read it, she now say, you know what, you always did the washing up and it was your favourite <laughs> thing. <laughs> she actually did, Mindy, my wife actually did say, now you're really nice to me all the time. Remember, you buy me all those presents. And <laughs> She's now and looking ashamed of herself as she should. Yeah, because she knows that's absolutely true. It did happen. She gets more chocolates than ever before now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, it's a relief for your family, and, and everyone really got very upset about it, which is, I would have thought, nice to know. Did you have any inkling that you were that popular? No, well, it, it was very, very sweet. And the yeah. one thing I would say is it, it really does make a difference if you're lying there or poorly in hospital. And in my case, really sort of a bit confused for quite a long time. When cards come in, it, it really matters. I, I met, I've met Richard once or twice, uh, only briefly. I've interviewed you on, on a radio show and I've met you... You're not going to make stuff up now, are you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, he's always found me very attractive and always kissed me as he left. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm saying I can't claim to know you terribly well, but you don't seem fundamentally changed in any way. I mean, I, I feel like I'm talking to the same person as I did before the accident. How do I know? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm reassuring you here. You can't, no. But have there been changes? Has your wife or any friends close to you said, no, you never used to do this or you never used to like this? Uh, have you changed in any way like that? Well, you're, you're told to look out for these personality changes and, you know, things like anger can be a problem. Um, it's tricky to you know when it's an issue. So if I come home and one of the dogs, and we have many, has pooed in the hall, I'll go off the meter, I'll get really cross. Oh, what's that dumb? Damn, that's so dumb. And I can just hear everybody thinking, <gasps> brain damage, anger. Oh, no, oh, the dog's just crapped in the hall. <laughs> that's reasonable. So it does, it really, yeah. they call it lost keys syndrome when you go home. And Richard, because... can I just check something? You sure it was the dog? <laughs> Again? I don't know. Your do do wife not... can blame anything she wants on do this. I always do that. <laughs> um, I hear that you like certain foods now that you didn't like before, is that right? Yes, um, I have been improved by this, slightly. Okay. Um, I like celery, which I've spent a life... <laughs> it's not a biggie, I know. <laughs> but no-one no one, no one actively seeks out celery, do they? I've spent a lifetime of... You know that gagging thing when you're a kid? You, oh, I don't like it! Yeah, yeah. I used to do that if, if celery went even near me, but since the crash, I like celery. You, you like it a lot, or an inordinate amount? Well, I mean, I don't feast on it all day long. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I, it's, it's nice, it's good. Okay. I, I, but I have been slightly improved. I can remember numbers now. You can remember numbers? So yeah. you couldn't before? This is a new, a new well, kind of skill? you know, we've all got mobile phones. Yes. So you just, you, all your numbers are in there. So if you need anybody's number, you look at... Yeah. That's what I know now. Well, hold it. All your phone numbers? All in there. Catalogued. And you can get them? Yeah. That's incredible. You're like a superhero. I'm, I am slightly improved. I think it's just because temporarily it's got less stuff in there. So but Richard, I'm really excited about that because in I comic books... I wouldn't recommend it as therapy, by the way. No, no, but in comic books, when someone has an accident, they always come out stronger, faster, better. You come out with a better memory and a... And a well, I love a celery, but, you know, it's like a kind of... <laughs> it's not... I can't... You've got a we celery you a, outfit. We could call you celery... Number man, it's a comic you're working at. <laughs> yeah, I was slightly well, sick and worried. We'll split the merchandise in. I'll do it. Uh, very now, here's the, the lo I would have thought the loveliest thing was um, going home with your wife, knowing that you were given more or less the all clear, and, and seeing your girls and being yes. at home with your wife and your family. W was there a period, well, I mean, were you aware enough to think this might not happen, or were you concerned that you might not be able to return to a, a normal that, family? Life that sort of stuff went on, but I was out of it, because I was either in a coma or clinically confused. So or, that's a so, blessing, really. So for me, yeah, I mean, my, my wife, Mindy, and, and also my whole family, my mother, it wasn't very nice to stand there and see me in that state. And, and yes, Mindy had to consider maybe, maybe raising the kids on her own, which yeah. is a hard one. Yeah, but you know where you're, you're ahead of the game there? Because she's standing in the hospital room looking at you, thinking, oh, I might have to move on, right? I might need a new partner. It's Clarkson and the other f 
Uh, well, it's no <laughs> challenge, is it, really? You know what I mean? She's not. She's going to stay single, isn't Choice she, really? Two old men or be on her own. Yeah, that would have been Two old nice. men in tight jeans. You know, they can't even father. There's no way they're fathering any more children. She's going to stay single. So she will stay to the memory. You're in the clear. Well nice. done. I hadn't thought of that until now, and that's some comfort. Uh, can I ask something? This might sound ridiculous. I know you, you've said a few times in the coma, but when you're in the coma, do you, is anything going on in the coma that you can remember? Is it like a dream, or are you aware of anything going on outside of, of yourself? It's... I guess it's rather personal and unique to each yeah, I coma. So. I mean, I just don't know how... There's different degrees of coma, and mine was an especially bad one, well, the worst level. I was very proud of that. And they have levels. What, what, so what, they have well, levels, the hurricane levels. The Glasgow levels. coma scale, yeah, it was 15 down to 3, Hold and 3 is the worst. The Glasgow coma scale? I've been told all this stuff when I was in hospital. It might have been made up. I think they've the made that up. Some of those, yeah, we call it Glasgow because after a few drinks they headbutt each other. Where's the Glasgow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it was the Glasgow. Seriously, the Glasgow, Glasgow comes Glasgow, comes Glasgow. Glasgow. Okay. Listen, 15 is not so bad. 15? That's like you're probably 15 most of the time. <laughs> Down to 3, which is the worst. And I was a solid for quite a long time. So you're completely... still sort of in and out. Yeah. And this is them checking on brain activity, I guess, and, and your responses yeah. to outside stimuli. Yeah, although they did... Um, yes, I, I sort of heard stuff going on, but you're in and out. You don't remember the fact that we got Paper Lace to come in and play for you to try and get you out, do you? Nice. <laughs> nice. Paper Lace got no response whatsoever. <laughs> I used to like Paper Lace. Do you remember Paper Lace? Can I say no, anyway? <laughs> you're terribly I'll old just claim it's... Billy, don't be a hero. It was a terrible... Again, I'm going to say no. Just yeah, but no one does. It's just me here. Um... <laughs> Well, you know, man, it's, it's obviously it's such a lovely end to this particular episode in your life, the fact that you're OK, yeah, you're in the clear. You, uh, do, do, they, uh, do you have to have a special regimen there? Do you have to look after yourself in a certain way or do you just carry on as normal and, and hope for the best? Partly because I just feel that, that there's a real sense from the experts that pin me, glued me back together. There's a real sort of, now look, you've been very, very lucky. Yeah. I mean, OK, I had the best crash helmet, the best harnesses and everything else, but there's also quite a lot of luck in there. Yeah, of course. And so they I think they'd be really cross if I did anything wrong. But yeah, there's this, I can't drink. You can't drink? Two can't. years. Two years, you can't drink. I can, have, I can have weak lager. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it's all I can have. Richard, Richard, is this something your wife told you yet again? Or <laughs> <laughs> we are driving around to see a lot of people this Christmas. Maybe that's connected. You love visiting my mother. You love driving and not drinking all Christmas. No, I, I, I can only have wheat lager and only one or two. Yeah. Um, uh, let me ask you about um, uh, going back to Top Gear because, for a start, you mentioned driving just then. You said drive. So, presumably, you, you've driven again. I saw a photograph of you yeah, in the papers driving a, a tractor. Um, but, but was Thanks there a that. moment. That was really dignified. <laughs> was there a moment when you got back behind the wheel the first time? Was there any kind of fear? Was there any concern? about whether you wanted to do that ever again or what might happen? No, I mean, it was a jet car. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I heard was a jet in. I mean, it's not... And then I get into my car, I've got a little old Morgan sports car made of wood, and it's an ordinary car. Yeah, so, so you again, weren't... plenty of people do have head injuries and then comas and then come out of it, and the last thing they did do was drive the car to go to the shops. So that's an ordinary car. Yeah, yeah. So how they get back in. So I they don't would associate know. that with what happened to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in yeah. my case, no, because So it you was... won't get in a jet car again though? Well I think twice, not for shopping. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you're going to be back in Top Gear. Yeah. You're go, is it true, and I don't know if it's true, but I read somewhere that uh, Jeremy Clarkson said that, that you three had a pact as to how you would deal if someone was involved in a in a, an accident which either um, forbade them from returning to the show or indeed ended their life uh, prematurely, there was a, a way you were going to deal with the, the sad farewell on the show. There was, and there is, and that agreement remains in place, um, that should one of us croak, uh, Jeremy or whichever one of us is left, would stand there and go, obviously, uh, last week or whenever Jeremy James Richard was tragically killed. But the next word, this is the agreement, has to be, anyway. <laughs> but you have to, it has to be delivered right because you have to go was tragically killed to death anyway there's a new Astra Diesel act <laughs> and, that's just talk about. and that is in a, they, I think there was a sense of genuine disappointment <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> they no. didn't get because they must have been thinking finally we get to but they pride themselves on showing no emotion like that kind of thing. It's like or a, indeed feeling yeah yeah but there must be some deep down inside I'm sure both of them I bet were going home and sobbing on their wives or I don't know if the other bloke has got a wife maybe on a dog or something that he's got a, a, cat. a cat maybe yeah. like an old spinster living at home yes. and, um, possibly even a, a dead stuffed cat not even a cat. <laughs> nobody, nobody anyway, dare tell him sobbing onto that thinking which which Richard, Richard, get what? Do you think there was any of that? It's a really unpleasant image for so many. <laughs> don't you think? It's really just not Clarkson nice. crying over you. Oh, 
oh, that's really unpleasant. No, I, d I don't think so. Um, can I just start? Is this going to sound a silly question? But when you, when you, now you're, you're better on your back and you're looking, do you think your insurance weight's going to go up in your car? Do you think they <laughs> It hasn't. <laughs> Could you not? It hasn't. We've already checked that. <laughs> I checked it fairly soon after I got home. <laughs> as soon as you got out? Yeah. Have you had any crashes in the last 12 months? Um, <laughs> bit. <laughs> um, no, it, 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 it hasn't affected Once again, because it's a jet car, of course. Well, it, it was on a anything. runway. I mean, the last thing I saw was a paramedic on that side, and it was all... You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's fabulous. Uh, you, you're well, and, of course, it's nice that you're out in time for Christmas, of course. Presumably, yes. you'll be spending Christmas... I would have thought at home with the family. Oh yes, yeah. absolutely. At home with the, with the, kids. the girls well, did come and see me in hospital, by the way. Did they? And, and Mindy, my wife, had said, um, "Now, Daddy's banged his head. You have to be very good." Oh yes, fine. So they brought them into the room. But I'd, I'd really hurt this eye quite nicely. Thought it might lose it. So I had a big eye patch on, with a big bandage around it. Keep that on. Yes. Was <laughs> still quite confused at the time. So they walked into the room. Hello, Daddy. Hello, kids. Look at. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what did they do? A lot of, lot of screams. A <laughs> lot, of, lot of not sleeping. You know what's great now, though? Richard, if they're being troublesome at bedtime, just put the old eye patch on and come up with <laughs> that, that is very scary. Halloween, we know what you're wearing. Yeah. Daddy's been in the wars again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only get as far as that and then be off. Richard, I am thrilled you're well. I mean, it was, uh, it was a horrible thing to read about, and it was a horrible thing to see, and not knowing what would happen to you. Even for those who don't know you, it was a horrible thing. I can't imagine what your family went through. But thank God you're all out the other side now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, all's well that ends well. well and thank you so much for coming on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Richard Hammond. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. That's brilliant. Uh -huh. I'll see you again in a minute. Thank right. you.